Mr. Swap it out. Family, what is going on with everybody, man? Hope everybody's having a great, blessed, and awesome day. Let me start off by saying that it is your boy Jay the Sneaker Guy coming back at y'all with another review on On Feet. And the shoe that I have today, y'all, y'all already know what it is. Y'all seen the title and the intro. Uh, the Air Jordan one, um, what is it, Fragments or Royal Toes, whichever y'all want to call them. I have had my eye on those for a little bit, man. I just, you know, I've seen them at my local mall. I seen them when I went to other malls. I'm just, I'm looking at them, I'm, I'm taking double takes on them. I'm like, damn, man. Like, they dope, but do I need them? You know, because, you know, I have my royal highs, but, man, I got a cop, man. So, walking up to the rest, I was like, y'all got them in a the nine. It was like, nah, we're sold out, but we could order them. So I said, yeah, go ahead, put that order in for your boy, man. So. I need them, I need them, I need them, man. Um, I seen them on feet a couple times. They're actually dope on feet. All the Jordan 1 lows, man, I can't I can't knock none of them, man. They all, for the most part, look good on feet. If y'all um, if y'all are saying that you don't rock with the lows and you have yet to try them on and see how you can style them, y'all need to stop playing, man. Y'all need to go ahead and get them and throw them off. Now, you don't necessarily got to get them. Just, you know, throw you on a nice pair of socks or even if you got some nice jeans, go to your local mall. If they got them, try them on. Look in the mirror real quick. They going home with you. That's all it's going to take if you do it right. But, hey, I'm, you know, it's, it's really me just talking, you know, because uh, it's just my personal opinion. It's uh, everybody might see it differently. They might not be rocking with it. But, hey, I like them. But, um... Yeah, man, enough with the talking, y'all. Um, oh, yeah, if this is y'all first time stopping through, man, y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and join the family that we have, y'all, because the family has been growing oh so well, and it is a blessing, man. I thank everybody for rocking with your boy, man. Hey, y'all drop a thumbs up, too, if y'all are uh, feeling anything in the video. I thank y'all for the positivity, the comments, everything, man. I thank y'all very much. But uh, y'all go ahead and join the family if y'all aren't a part of the family, and, um, Help us rise, man, because we are on the grind over here to 5K, and uh, we're going to try to make that happen. But uh, anyways, y'all, I brought out the Royal Highs today because I'm going to compare those to the Lows as I do. If I have a pair of Highs and the Lows, I'll go ahead and compare both of them or any shoe at that. If I have, like, two similarities of them, I'll go ahead and compare them. So that's what I'm starting off by doing, y'all. I'll um, show y'all the Highs, even though this is in the High video. Bam! And my highs are actually starting to get that glitter effect that all these Jordan 1s normally get. But this is the Jordan 1 High Royals. And what we will be reviewing today is, bang, the low in the fragment or the royal colorway. So, dope, man. I don't know, you know why I kind of contemplated so long on copping them because they're very dope. Maybe, like I said, it's because I have these, but... I got these shoes for $85 at the tax because I had a little coupon and um, for that price, cannot beat it, y'all. So let's go ahead and check them both out real quick. As you guys can see, on your side panel on this one, you have white. On your side panel on the highs, you have black. And uh, you basically have blue in every other area except for your swooshes. The blue on the shoe is pretty much the same in both areas, except for the swooshes. You got black swoosh, royal swoosh, and also, if you guys can see the color on them, you have a, what is it, which one is it? Mm, it's darker. You have darker on your lows. If you look on your left, that's your lows. On your right, your highs, which is a lighter shade of blue. These are darker, your lows, than, it, than of your highs. So you got that. Your bottoms are both the same. They're both blue. You both have blue toes. As I said, blue's everywhere. Difference also on your tongue, you have your blue navy, or blue royal, two, three on these, and you don't have anything like that on the highs. You got your jump man on your lows. You have your Nike Air on your highs. 
And besides that, you know, your Wayne's logo uh, placement, you have them on the back on your lows and you got them on your side right below your ankle collar on your highs. And besides that, y'all, that's pretty much it, man. These shoes both have white. They're not sale. This was before Jordan started going crazy with the sale. But uh, yeah, man, you got uh, both white. And as I said, that's, that's basically the, all the difference, man. And I mentioned in uh, one of my Jordan 1 low videos, y'all, that all the Jordan 1 lows have been coming in that new buck like material but I was wrong and um a lot of people corrected me but these are all leather there's no new buck on this pair y'all so let's go ahead and get to the review y'all we'll start off with the box you have your regular Jordan 1 low box on these GS looking box and your size tagging on this one is going to read Air Jordan 1 low Sport Royal Black White, size nine for your boy. These were $90 and I had a $10 coupon, so at the tax it was like $85.20 or something like that. But you do have your QR code on these as Jordan and Nike promised us on all the upcoming shoes. And uh, inside the box, y'all, regular two, three paper. It just has that same type of, uh, uh, basically, look as your GS box. It's nothing different. Bam! There we have it again, y'all. We got the Jordan 1 Low in the Royal colorway, y'all. Starting out with your outsole, you have that Royal Blue outsole on these. Jordan 1 outsole. Moving up, you have your hits of white going all the way around the midsole there. And then moving up from that, y'all, you have your hits of black going around the toe cap as well as the upper around your laces. And you just have your black swoosh, I guess is where that black kind of picks up. You got a black swoosh on both sides. Then um, on your side panels, you have a white side panel on both sides of these. And you have your royal toe box on these. And it actually kind of blends well, man, going into the tongue. Kind of stops right there, then it goes to that black, and then you got your head of royal. Very dope, man. I like, I like, this is actually one of my favorite, uh, Jordan 1 lows. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. After just, you know, seeing them, holding them, putting them on feet, I, I really like these. But, um, moving up from that, y'all, you have your hits of Royal around your back heel, as well as your ankle collar. And then you have your Jordan 1 wings logo that is stitched in black on those. These shoes come with black laces, y'all. They do not come with any other spare laces. So if you see any other laces, as usual, Mr. Swap It Out. Y'all already know what time it is, but uh, only black laces, y'all. And um, moving on to the inside, you have a black interior that goes around your ankle area. Then your insole on these is a bright, like, royal blue. You got your jump man in there. And okay, I see some, what is this, blue? That's dope. Nice little touch. You got blue lace tips on on these. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. And um, checking out the size tagging, y'all. We'll peep that out real quick. Uh, if we can see it. All right. You got that. These were manufactured from March of this year through April. So it's only one month production on these. And uh, I don't think that has anything to do with the of, of, uh, limitedness or availability of the shoes because I think they're pretty much... A lot of pairs of these shoes, y'all, but very dope Jordan 1 low, in my opinion, y'all. Um, if y'all haven't tried any of the Jordan 1 lows, rocked them or anything, man, go ahead and try them, man, because they are very dope shoes. They can be rocked in a lot of ways. Very, very good summer shoes. So um, if y'all haven't tried them out, man, go to the mall, try them on. Just get yourself a pair, throw on some nice socks or some jeans or something so you can make it look nice. And mm, 8 out of 10, you might be like, okay, I'm rocking with them, but... Very dope shoe, y'all. And as usual, I thank y'all for stopping through and rocking with your boy, man. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all with this on feet. And y'all stay tuned, man. I got a lot of stuff coming up, man. I'm actually gonna uh, also go after the Royal 12. So that'll be on the channel with the on feet. Hopefully I can get those early. And um, you know, some other stuff, man. Uh, September is a pretty much big month with shoes, man. And also, man, news broke that they pushed the Travis Scott sixes back, man, to October 12th. How y'all feel about that? I mean, we all know we probably, 80% of us know that we're going to take L's. And, uh, I mean, it's just, you know, 
it's just a, when the release date comes, you know, it's like, hey, you still got that that 20, other 20 percent. It's like I probably could hit them, so you know we're gonna try. But man, they need to go ahead and drop them. They keep pushing it back. I'm ready for them. I will have those on the channel, man. Like hopefully I can hit on Nike, man, because I don't want to mess with no like third, none of that gold stockx, none of that. Um, because you know it's too much going on with the face, and those shoes are too much money to be playing with. So uh, if if you know if I can find a legitimate person that I can get them from, like you know Unbreakable Kicks or somebody like that, shout out to y'all. Watch all y'all videos, Unbreakable, Damn D, Mike Rich, all y'all. Shout out to the bigger YouTubers, Tony D2Wild, you know what I'm saying, folks like that. But uh, anyway, like I said, if I can find somebody like of that status that I know that I can get a legit pair from, I'll go ahead and copy. But other than that. If I can't get it from you know somebody like that, I'm gonna I'm just pass on it, y'all. And enough with the talking. I've been was supposed to wrap up this video. Y'all stay tuned for the on feet, and y'all stay blessed and and uh, keep showing that support, man. Y'all is what I do it for, man. So uh, your boy Jay the Sneak guys checking out with the Jordan One Low and the Royal or the Fragment colorway, y'all. So to my next video, I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>